Nvidia seem to have sprung a bit of a leak if some leaked specifications for the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti are to be believed. Now of course, it's not going to be all that long until we know for sure what Nvidia have in store for us with this card as they're probably going to be revealing that at CES in January next year as Nvidia boss Jen Swung Hong is scheduled to be the first keynote speaker. So. While it's not too long, it does mean there's three and a half months of speculation before we learn what the 1080 tie actually is. But until then, we have some unofficial, unconfirmed specs making the round, so do keep in mind that all of this is subject to being completely false or being true or off the mark, we just don't know. These come from a forum member at OC3D, and if these specs turn out to be legit, these will actually be a strong contender to the Titan X. So let's move swiftly on shall we, as according to the leak the 1080 tie will have 52 streaming multi-processor units which is actually down from the Titan X's 56 and 3,328 CUDA cores which is not too far off what the Titan X has at 3,584 and will still be a nice boost from the plain GTX 1080 which has 2,560. Now the 1080 Ti is clocked faster than the Titan X with base and boost clock speeds of 1503 MHz and 1623 MHz respectively compared to 1417 MHz and 1531. This roughly translates to 10.8 flop T-flops of compute power just under the Titan X's 11 T-flops. However, where the Titan X is still in the lead with a significant advantage is memory bandwidth. Of course, it has 12 gigs of GDDR5X memory with a 384-bit bus pushing 480 gigabytes per second, whereas the 1080 Ti will allegedly push 384 gigabytes per second with the same amount of memory on the same bus width, but still using slower GDDR5 chips. However, this is still an improvement over the 1080 original, which uses 8 gigs of GDDR5X memory on a 256 bus to achieve 320 gigabytes per second. Now, the use or the alleged use here of the GDDR5 rather than GDDR5X does call into question the validity of this information, but there is an argument to be made other than, oh, this is fake then. You could potentially argue that if NVIDIA had put GDDR5X memory inside the 1080 Ti, then they would risk kind of usurping the Titan X with a card that should end up being a fair shout cheaper than the Titan X. So they kind of wanted to, I guess, handicap the card, I guess you could say, so that while it is a really, really nice card from these specs, it isn't quite the Titan X and it probably would have been pretty much to Titan X if they put GDDR5 memory, but of course it is also GDDR5, GDDR5X should I say, but it is entirely possible that all this information has been incorrect or simply slightly off the mark. But it seems if these specs are true they're trying to get a medium between the vanilla 1080 and the Titan X by giving you know boosted clock speeds and a better memory bus, but obviously kind of not being as good as the Titan X in some other areas. Interesting specs and does paint the 1080 tie as a bit of a beast and of course the question all comes down to price really as to how competitive it's going to be but I would imagine it's going to be a fair sight cheaper than the Titan X but that's not really all that difficult. Love to hear your thoughts though guys as always thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time.